What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Norn Rad 89 Happy Friday the 13th. Of course, Friday the 13th, it's my boy, Jason Voorhees. It's his day today, and for today, I'm going to bring you a new ranking, my top five favorite final girls that have been in the Friday the 13th franchise. These are all the final girls that I think embody the true like characteristics and what you like the template you want for a final girl in a slasher film especially the kind of slasher films that happen in the 80s these are the girls that really like kind of nailed down that template and they're the ones that like i enjoyed the most and of course this is just my list my personal opinion i would love to hear from all of you in the comment section share your list now let's get down to this video roll it So as you can see, I got my Jason jersey on, all my like Jason Voorhees memorabilia around me, ready to talk my favorite final girls from the films. And of course, we have to start at the bottom, but this is my top five, so it's not really like the bottom. I really like this chick too. So my number five pick is going to be, yes, Alice, the girl from the original Friday the 13th film. She kind of like is the one that really started the template for the final girl. There were other films that kind of did it before this, you know, like Black Christmas and Twitch of the Death Nerve. There was a few other films that did it similar, like before this one, of course. But Alice was the first one, and she kind of does have a really good third act fight scene with Pamela Voorhees. It is really good. She's, I think, plays it well. Like at first, she's kind of one of the lamest characters, I think, in the film. But as that third act progresses and we find out she's the main, you know, actress that's going to be tackling Pamela Voorhees, I think it plays out really well for sure. And of course, you know, she's kind of the one that is is like, you know, part of starting Jason Voorhees, you know what I mean? Because the story is like he saw his mom beheaded and that's part of the reason why he's so crazy. So if it really wasn't for Alice, Jason Voorhees probably wouldn't be as nuts or be the killer that we know him to be in the films after this. Number four for me is going to be... Trish Jarvis and Trish Jarvis I really do like her character she's in Friday the 13th part 4 the final chapter and this is probably the ones that was like one of the last Friday the 13th films that was like more really scary they didn't really have too much comedy in this film you know this is more of like a straight up slasher horror film but Trish Jarvis is a great character she's like that cool buddy sister older sister that likes to hang out with her younger brother you know even though he's a nerd and he likes video games and stuff she's a really cool character she likes she wants to hang out you know and have her kind of own life though too and hang out with the older kids that like stay in the house across the way so i like it she's just a very relatable character that's why she's so great she's got a really good scream too on screen when she's being attacked by jason and she does a lot of good stunt work in this film too so trish jarvis very comfortable here at the number four spot rolling in at number three is gonna be Yes, Chris Higgins from Friday the 13th Part 3 in 3D. This is one of my favorite Friday the 13th films, actually my second favorite, and I think Chris Higgins really does embody that, you know, figure of being like a girl that is like the template for the final girl, and she also has a previous past with Jason, and I really do like that. She was kind of like, I think on the run while her parents were fighting, she ran away and she went to sleep in the woods one time and she got she woke up to being attacked by Jason and she escaped. So it's really cool that she has kind of like this little history with him, like a traumatizing history, and she has to overcome that fear and fight him. And she's the first one that gets to fight Jason in his hockey mask too. So that's another aspect of this film that I really do enjoy. And I think Chris Higgins, you know, she's a beautiful, powerful final girl, definitely deserving of this third spot. Now we're here at number two, the runner up, and that's gonna be Megan Garris from Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives. Oh man, she's probably, this is one of the, I think, most beautiful girls that we've had as a final girl. I think teaming up with the older version of Tommy Jarvis, she's the best version because she really does believe his story when he comes to her telling her about Jason Voorhees and that he's back. She's like the only person in this film that really does believe him. Everything else, Everybody else thinks it's kind of a joke and that Tommy Jarvis is just messing around and she's totally down to help him and has a dope, like, freaking 
car chase scene and i think like a red ferrari so like come on man like she's she's amazing and she's played by jennifer cook like i think she did an amazing job in this film and this is my favorite friday the 13th film and like i said to have her in it it was such a blast for sure even in that third act when she's protecting the kids at the camp like we were we've never seen like kids at an actual camp at friday the 13th before so it's really cool to see jennifer cook stepping up and protecting these children and teaming up with tommy jarvis in that third act so now we're here at the number one spot the top dog and before we get to that don't forget to drop a like and hit that subscribe button it definitely helps out the channel all the support i always appreciate it like you always can hit me up on all my like you know twitter or my discord handle too to talk movies so let's get down to it my number one is gonna be Ginny Field from Friday the 13th Part 2. She is the most probably iconic one, I think, and I really think she is deserving of this top spot. I really do like Megan Garris from Friday the 13th Part 6, but I think Ginny is deserving of this number one spot. She's the one that first tackles Jason in the sack head mask in Friday the 13th Part 2, and she's the one that really does kind of displays her smarts compared to the other girls, you know, first, and, you know, she's in the second one, so, like, it's just as cool to see, you know, she finds like the mother's head and like quick puts on the sweater and is able to come up with this plan to try to trick Jason Voorhees, you know what I mean, into like so she could lure him and like, you know, get his guard down and she could attack him. And she goes through a couple like, you know, other fight scenes with him and like it's just it's really good, you know. And Friday the thirteenth part two is a very solid film too, I think, you know, and Oh, man, these two top girls, I really wanted to give Megan and Ginny both the top spots because I think they're both deserving of it as the final girls. All these girls, like I said, these are my favorite five throughout the Friday the 13th franchise. And like I said, definitely share your list in the comment section. I would love to hear from all of you so we could have some healthy cinema debates about the final girls that we like from the franchise. And definitely don't forget to watch some Jason today. Celebrate Friday the 13th. It's one of my favorite holidays for sure. <laughs>